So far, we've looked at using the inbuilt pipes inside of Angular. Let's create our own pipe inside of our app. So underneath the app directory, I'm going to create a new folder called shared. Inside of here, I'll also create a new folder called pipes. Then inside of the shared folder, I'll create a shared module.ts. This allows us to create some dependencies that we can use throughout our project. It's a good idea to put these things as part of a shared module so that we only import it once and it allows for a much more scalable app. So let's start off by making a new ng module. If you remember how to do that, it's import from Angular Core. And we of course want the ng module decorator. Let's create a new ng module. And for now, we'll also export a class named shared module. We'll leave everything blank for now and we'll come back to this module in a moment. Inside of the pipes directory, I'm going to make a new file called reverse.pipe.ts. And in case you haven't guessed it already, that's going to reverse a string. So let's import from Angular Core once again, both pipe and pipe transform. We will export a new class and that class will be called reverse string. And that will implement the pipe transform interface. Let's also add the pipe decorator above our class and we'll give this pipe the name of reverse string. And you'll notice that we need to implement the interface named pipe transform. When we implement the transform function, it gives us the current value and any other arguments. We can return the value. We can split that by character. So we have an array. We can then reverse the array and join it together. Now, when we use this pipe throughout our project, we shouldn't be able to get a reversed version of our string. So let's head over to our shared module and we can add a declarations of the reverse string. And I will also add the word pipe on the end of our class to conform with these style guidelines. And inside of our shared module, we can import that new pipe. So now we can head over to our app module and we can import our shared module. That comes from our shared folder slash shared dot module. Inside of our app component, I'm then going to make a new paragraph. And inside of the paragraph, I'm going to have a name. And like before, we will add a name into our app component.ts. So we'll simply have name equals Paul. We will bind on the name variable and then we'll add the reverse string pipe. You'll see that reverse string could not be found. And that's because we're using a shared module. And when we're using a shared module, we also need to export using exports the same pipe. This allows our other modules to then gain access to this pipe. You'll notice when we save our file, we then have our reversed pipe. So this is how we create a custom pipe inside of Angular.